Hi everyone and welcome back to Liz Sews. So this is a video that was requested by somebody and it was what are my top five favorite patterns. So before I go into my top five favorite patterns, I will say that a lot of what makes a pattern good for me has to do with my personal shape. So if your shape is wildly different than mine, I would take that into consideration before you go out and buy these same patterns. So what is my shape? Um, I would say that I have a wide root. I use a wire size that's about three sizes bigger than what my cup would suggest. I uh, am shallow, so I don't have very much projection. I'm very close to myself. And I also find that my chest height is very short. So a lot of times balconette bras or something like that, which will look very revealing on somebody else, are pretty full coverage on me. And so if I go for a full coverage bra, it's just too much fabric. It's, it's just a lot. So those are the things that I'm looking for and considering when I'm picking out my favorite patterns. So if you guys have watched my videos for any period of time, it's probably no surprise that my absolute favorite pattern is the Black Beauty Bra from Emerald Erin. And one of the reasons why I really love this pattern is it, at its core, it's a two-piece cup. It's a two-piece horizontally seamed cup. And that is a great jumping off point for making a lot more different um, styles and shapes and style lines and things like that. So I find that this bra, because I have it fitted to me so well, I am able to modify the cup style to give me a plethora of other options. So if it's a vertical seam or a horizontal seam or five cup piece and stuff like that. Uh, I would highly recommend trying to find a very like basic pattern like this as a, a good standby just because of that ability to modify and, and change its style lines. Uh, if you're in your larger size cup range, I would say something like the classic bra from Pinup Girls is sort of that same deal where it's like a two-piece horizontal. Actually, I think the classic might be a might be a diagonal seam, but you can convert it to horizontal really easily. The next bra pattern that I would say is number two spot is probably the orange lingerie Berkeley bra pattern. Now, in all honesty, I think the Berkeley bra pattern and the Black Beauty bra pattern are very similar. So they both have horizontal seams. They're both two-piece cups. They both have power bars. Uh, Emerald Aaron's pattern has the power bar on the ex outside or externally, and the Berkeley bra pattern has the power bar internally. Uh, personally, for my shape, I don't love power bars for what they're supposed to do. So mo most of my fullness is on the outside of the bust. I don't have very much tissue at all in the center front. Um, it's, it's, I'm very side heavy. And so when I use a power bar, what tends to happen is it cuts in and creates a line, which is kind of not a look that I love. Uh, so most of the time when a bra has a power bar, I actually extend the length of the power bar seam so that it doesn't cut in on me. And so I use it just for aesthetic reasons and not necessarily for the whole like power bar reason. But I do really love the Berkeley bra pattern. One of the things about this pattern that is really, really pretty is just that it's made for lace along the bottom. It has a really gorgeous gothic arch in the center front, which is really pretty, uh, and lace scallops and stuff like that. So it has a lot of techniques that you don't get in the Black Beauty bra, even though the style lines are very similar. So if you are just starting out, I think it's still worthwhile to have both of those patterns, even though they look very similar just from like a style line point of view. So my next favorite bra pattern is going to be the Marlboro bra also from Orange Lingerie. So this is probably the third bra that, or third bra pattern that I ever worked with. Uh, and I put it away for quite some time and I picked it up recently, worked on its fit a little bit better. And I do quite like this pattern. And it tends to be a pattern that a lot of people start out with in the beginning. And I'm not sure why. Uh, I think it does have a very sort of like ready to wear look about it, the way it, the, the style lines are. It has a seamed power bar. So it, it has a power bar like the other two patterns that I, I had talked about, the Berkeley bra and the Black Beauty bra. However, this power bar is interesting integrated into the cup itself. So it's part of a cup. And so I'm less likely to get sort of that indentation as one that is like external or internal. So separate from the cup piece. Uh, I really, really enjoy this bra and uh, it works great with you have like just little bits of lace that you want to drop in here. So Orange Lingerie as a pattern company, I would say is better suited to somebody smaller like myself, not necessarily aimed at larger cup sizes. However, she does have a couple of 
patterns that she has graded for larger cup sizes as well. And when she grades them for larger cup sizes, she uses a different person who is familiar with that. So it's often a different block or grade than the one that I am using. So just keep that in mind. Uh, the grade and block might be slightly different than these smaller cup sizes, but you'll know that it was, you know, sort of like engineered and designed to be suitable for a larger cup size, if that makes sense. And the Marlboro is a pattern that does go up into those larger cup sizes as well. So it's another reason why I think a lot of people start out with it in the beginning, because it is a little bit more size inclusive than some of the patterns. So my fourth favorite pattern is actually going to be a soft cut bra. Uh, and <laughs> I think that might come as a surprise to some of you just because mostly what I sew are underwire bras. But uh, the fourth pattern is going to be the Watson bra by Cloth Habit. I really, really enjoy this pattern and it's, it's definitely a bra that I will pull out when things are getting a little tender, a little sore, uh, or if I need something, a little extra support at night or something like that. So it's a very nice, easy bra to wear. It's a lot softer, a lot more forgiving, um, and a lot more comfortable and loungy, even though it doesn't give me great shape. It really kind of works more on compression than really anything else. Uh, so the Watson bra, again, is another one that people often start out with because they're scared of using underwires. I don't think that like if you want to start out, I'm a firm believer in just picking the bra style that you want to wear and working on it. I don't think there's that much difference between something like uh, Watson versus an underwired pattern. They're very, very similar. A lot of the techniques are the same. Really the only difference is the underwire channeling and you really shouldn't be scared of underwire channeling. Uh, so Watson bra is a nice one for lounging, comfort around. It works great to convert into swimsuits. And it's just a little, it's a nice go-to if I'm just have, I just want a simple bra that's comfortable and stretchy and sort of like just moves with me. So for my fifth position in my top favorite bra patterns is a relatively new pattern. It came out, I think there was like a soft launch in the month of August uh, and, and a full launch in September. And this is the Ariel Cup from Porcelain. So porcelain works a little bit differently than most pattern designers in that you have to buy the cups separately from the band. They're sort of like interchangeable. So the aerial bra cups come in demi and regular wire versions. So you would also have to purchase a demi band or a regular wire band. Alternatively, if you have a bra pattern that uses a demi wire or regular wire and you really like how the band fits you, by all means, go ahead and use that pattern. Uh, another thing that's really, really unique about porcelain's patterns is just the amount of customizability. And that's one of the reasons why I'm putting it in my top five. So when I say customizability, she has a lot more metrics than most bra patterns when it comes to figuring out your size. So we have band length, right? So that's like how big the band is around your body. That's a pretty normal one. She also has torso shape. So she looks at the different in, in measurements from below and above your, your bust to determine like what your torso looks like. Is it straight up and down? Is it slightly... So I think there's six different torso shapes, V0 through V6. I personally am a V2 and I used her, her instructions for how to make like a V2 band and fit perfectly right out of the envelope, no changes whatsoever. So I thought that was really amazing and not something I'd ever really seen before. So we have band width, we have band torso shape, and then when it comes to cups, you have a couple of matrices as well. So for this bra pattern, she has the option, as I said, of a demi or a regular wire, but you can choose which size wire you want for your cups. So each cup size has several different wires that it's graded for. So in my instance, I'm using a cup size six, right? She's not using A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Don't worry about that. She has just a couple measurements. You identify which cup size you are. So I'm cup size six based on my volume. But then she also has cup size six graded for a couple of different wire sizes. So I use a 40 wire. She has that one already done. Uh, I think she, uh, of course, had it for a 38, a 36, and I think a 34 as well. So having that wide range of wires available for the same cup size is a um, phenomenal thing. I think that it's a little bit trickier to to understand, especially if you're not used to sewing bras, but it, it was so amazing to be able to pick exactly what I wanted. I wanted this band with this size wire and this size cup, and it fit perfectly right out of the envelope. So that's why I'm putting this as my top five patterns. Um, and I think that this would probably also go with the Eve or some of the other cup patterns she has as well. It's just that the Ariel is the one that I've sewn up recently and the one that I'm most excited about. 
So I hope you guys have enjoyed this sort of like look at the patterns and why I love these patterns. And I will see you next time. Take care. Thank you.